Hi, I'm Mary Rose Pachuco, Chief Counsel of Catholic Charities San Francisco and head of the Center for Immigration Legal and Support Services. We have a staff of 25 at the center and uh, they consist of attorneys, legal assistants, and Department of Justice representatives who can also represent uh, our clients in immigration court and or before the Immigration Service. We serve clients regardless of where they come from, regardless of age, religion, or sexual orientation. If there's an immigration problem and they need the services of Catholic Charities, we're here to help. We represent a lot of unaccompanied minors, and these unaccompanied minors come from very traumatic experiences back home. The journey of an unaccompanied minor is pretty grueling. Take one client that I worked with recently. She left Honduras. She crossed the Guatemalan border alone. She slept in the streets. She crossed the Mexican border. And then once she reached the U.S. border, she of course sought asylum. When I spoke with her the first time and listened to her recount her story, you could hear the sadness in her voice. I stopped for a minute and said, I'm really sorry you had to go through that. And she stopped for a minute and said, I think I'm really brave. I just uh, chatted with her the other day and she's a senior in high school now. She wants to be a doctor and one of her teachers is really encouraging her to obtain a scholarship to university. Every single case that we work on is a case where we strive to provide the client with a place where they can be safe and they can grow and they can succeed. The immigration journey is very long. Immigration courts right now are so backlogged. San Francisco, for example, has over 70,000, almost 80,000 cases, and we only have 24 judges. Some of our cases are getting pushed out to 2025, 2026. Many of our clients want safety. They want security. They want a place that their children can grow up without worrying about whether they're going to be killed. Everyone believes the United States is the land of opportunity. They believe that with hard work, they will succeed. We are the type of country where that can happen.